Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My brothers and sisters, before you talk about getting married, you must make sure you understand how divorce works. Most of the young people I've asked have been married without knowing about divorce. And this is why when a time comes where there is a little dispute or a major dispute in anger, some of these youngsters blurt out the words of divorce and talaq. And you and I know that in Islam, it is a big thing. You don't threaten people every little while. I'm going to divorce you. If you do this, I'll divorce you. I'll divorce you about this and that. And if you go here, I'll divorce you. And if you do this, I'll divorce you. In Islam, that is not allowed. You don't play games with something that is very, very serious in the eyes of Allah Almighty. So don't ever utter the words of divorce jokingly. Don't ever utter them just playfully. Don't ever threaten your spouse with divorce for every little thing that is happening. Calm down, take it easy, work on your marriage. Make sure that you don't want to just get out of the marriage because of a few differences that you have. And be careful. If you are to utter those words, they will have a huge impact on your life. Not just on the marital situation and on your marriage, but on your entire life. So please... I really plead with all of those out there, married or unmarried, learn about divorce and how it works. Why does Allah speak about three divorces? In fact, I can quickly explain it to you. If a person really doesn't get along with the spouse and they have tried their best to make it work and they've reached the end, they may divorce once. That's enough. You don't ever need to issue more than one divorce at that stage. It's either revocable or irrevocable. You'll have to learn about that. If within the waiting period, which is three menstrual cycles in most cases, you decide you want to get back and you want to reconcile, you may do so. You may do so. If you have reconciled, remember you've already used one talaq or divorce. If you've reconciled, mashallah, your life may progress and proceed. You may never need to revisit any talaq or the topic of talaq. But if for some reason the problems happen to reoccur and the road seems to be ending once again and you've arrived right at the end, you may choose to go through a second talaq. That's a second talaq. So a second divorce. Allah gives you another chance. And Allah says, okay, no problem. You can Break up again and end the marriage again. If after you've ended it the second time with another one talaq, so the first time you gave one and after some time you gave another one. Now you've given two. And if within the waiting period, if you did not reconcile, then the spouses can marry whom they want. They can actually, you know, go and perhaps pursue someone else or they could get back together with a new nikah. That is, if the period, the waiting period of three menstrual cycles has come to an end. You've only issued one or two and the waiting period has finished. In that case, you can go back to your the spouse who just divorced you or whom you were divorced from or you could go to someone else. And the second time, the same applies. But if you have reconciled for the second time, then do you know you only have one more chance now, Allah Almighty says that if you get along, alhamdulillah, it was good. That's the blessing of Allah. He's given you the third chance. But if you did not get along and you arrived at the end of the path and you decided, you know what, I've just had enough. I gave it three chances and you know what, it's just not working. So Allah says the third talaq, the third time you divorce, you're not allowed to get back to the same guy because you're wasting your life. You're wasting your time. You've tried three whole times. And now you go to someone else, perhaps maybe, if without the interference of your first spouse, you marry another person. He might be an excellent person. You might have a beautiful marriage thereafter. So many have had amazing marriages after divorce. And you may never have to revisit the issue of talaq or divorce once again, or again, should I say. 
But if for some reason you are divorced from the second spouse, you may now go back to the first one because you would have had something to compare it with. You may have felt that the first person was better than the second one. And I now understand and appreciate those weaknesses I can put up with. These ones I cannot. So that's the whole idea of having three divorces. Now, what people do is they end up divorcing their wives thinking, I wonder where they get it from, that the way to divorce a woman is to repeat the words of divorce thrice. That is the furthest from the truth. That is the worst way of doing things. It is sinful. It is a huge, huge sin to just utter these words thrice. For what? You only ever need to utter it once and that too. Like I said, not jokingly, not playfully, not threateningly, but in a serious manner. So my brothers, my sisters, take it seriously. Learn about divorce before you get married. And if you are married right now, before you have an argument, learn about divorce. Make sure you understand what it is all about. People divorce their wives, one, two, three. Then they want to go and ask the scholars, what happens now? And you know, there is a major difference of opinion amongst the scholars in this regard. What does it occur as? In a nutshell, you're playing with the, with the, teachings of the Quran and the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you won't be able to lead a life of happiness if you want to play the fool with what Allah has revealed. So therefore, my brothers, my sisters, like I said at the beginning, learn about divorce before you get married. Make sure you know how to issue a divorce. An example of it is, imagine you have a gun and you don't even know what the trigger is all about and you pull it thrice or you pull it whatever, how many ever times, and you've injured someone or killed them, and then you say, oh, can I revive this? Can I revive this person? I just made a mistake. I did not know uh, what the trigger was all about. You would be foolish. Learn about a weapon before you have it. In the same way, learn about talaq before you marry. May Allah Almighty bless every one of us. It's a very important subject. Please share this video as far and as wide as you can, so that people understand. I see many people say, well, Islam is very oppressive because why is it that I cannot get back to my spouse? You can. You can if you had done it the right way, but because it was a sinful way or because you did it the wrong way, then obviously it's going to change things and you will have difference of opinion among the scholars and then you actually have a huge matter in front of you. May Allah Almighty grant us ease and goodness. This is just a brief uh, point that I thought I'd raise, but there is a lot more to learn about divorce. Please go ahead and learn about it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.